Brooke Estee Lauder, the icon of beauty. They just fell after their earnings report. But Estee Lauder's lipstick sales may predict what happens next in this economy. Okay, we're just going to put this out there. Estee Lauder has been smelling good for 76 years. They're the fourth biggest beauty company in the world. Now, Estee Lauder, the name, it sounds as French as a croissant, but (laughs) actually they were founded and they're based currently in Midtown Manhattan. And for Estee Lauder, it's not hot girl summer. No, last three months, revenue over at Estee Lauder slipped 10% to $3.6 billion and profits, they fell too. But this is a publicly traded $100 $100 billion beauty behemoth. And they're not worried. No. In fact, Jack and I jumped in T-Boy style to the earnings call and we noticed they have like a quiet confidence. Yes. And the reason for Estee Lauder's sultry swagger, Nick? Yes, Jack? It's the lipstick effect. Uh, maybe it's her. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, it's the lipstick. Yetis, not just some crimson cosmetic concoction. Lipstick is an economic indicator that professors should pay attention to. They should. Yeah, they should. Here's the lipstick effect. During an economic downturn or a recession, you typically buy less stuff. Exactly. Right, Jack. You're going to protect your finances. So, like, now's not the time to splurge on that hot tub for the patio. Here's the lipstick effect, though. Makeup is an exception to that rule. Yeah. This is what Jack and I find fascinating about this. You buy fewer big ticket items, but you buy more beauty items. So you're like, you're saving a thousand bucks by not buying that Sony TV. So you're sad. But you saved a thousand bucks. So you feel like you can indulge in some new eyeliner. Maybe a day serum and a night serum. Yetis, when there is economic uncertainty, there is a desire to buy cheaper things, but ones that make you feel good. You're looking for good vibes, but affordable good vibes only. Exactly. Estee Lauder, they call them tiny pleasures. Tiny pleasures. You didn't get a raise because it's a recession. But, you know, you deserve to go to Revlon. Jack, we skipped the Macy's. I don't know. Maybe I'll hit the Mac counter instead. Well, Estee Lauder reported that lipstick and fragrances, two tiny pleasures, were flying off the shelves last quarter. In fact, Estee Lauder predicted 3 to 5% sales growth in the coming year because people are going to buy those tiny pleasures. You're going to load up on lipstick. And the tiny pleasures make up for people's lack of super splurges. And that is the lipstick effect. So, Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over in the makeup industry? The lipstick effect has a dark side, too. Okay, so, Besties, on a micro level, that lipstick effect is fantastic for Estee Lauder. Even if we enter a recession, Estee Lauder can depend reliably on those lipstick sales. But here's the problem. On a more macro level for the whole economy, that lipstick effect could be an early indicator of a recession. We just got word that total retail spending in the U.S. in July was flat compared to June. Eh, It's not good, but uh, it's not a recession either. But you know what, Nick? Estee Lauder first noticed this lipstick situation in the 2001 recession. Yeah, they coined that phrase, the lipstick effect, leading up to that recession. The economy was down in 2001. Lipstick sales were up in 2001. So great for Estee Lauder that lipstick sales are selling out. But it may be a bad early sign for the economy overall. Thanks for jumping in T-Boy style. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more pop biz that you need.